Hello guys, so this is the second part where I deal with uh, having just a single camera because sometimes you might want to just be able to render out a sequence of frames uh, regarding uh, whatever your visualization is about and you still want that motion blur on that specific object but you want to use a single camera. So what I've done here is essentially just to kind of match took a like clone one of these cameras made a new one called scene camera and it just jumps between these positions not super match but they are pretty okay uh, this is just a demonstration guys so of course uh, this would lead to a lot of motion blur applied to the whole scene right the trick here isn't that hard if I bring up the graph editor here when you do something like that, just make sure that you select all the channels on your camera, select all your keys and set them to stepped, because that will not generate any camera motion blur. That's a good, good thing to know. So when I view through this camera in OpenGL, we can see that these other objects don't have any motion blur, but we still get this fake motion blur here. Uh, and when I go between frames, I don't get any motion blur on the environment, right? So three frames, so I'll just quickly set up a render output here. So render globals uh, 0, 2, 3, and the output, uh, well, let's go for that, I guess. Uh, yeah, renders perfect. And let's just hit F10. No, I don't want to do that. So, let me find that content. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's take a look at the renders. So we do get motion blur on the shadow, which is kind of cool. So I actually would like to render this with a high resolution. So let's double that and just batch render again. And uh, yeah, it shouldn't take that long. You can actually take a look at the content while this is going. There I have that. Ah, it's zoomed on. Doesn't matter. So as you can see, there is no motion blur going on on the environment that I can see. Let me do this, hide alpha channel. So it's just motion blur on this object here that I've decided I want motion blur on. Yeah. So this technique seems to work f quite well for what some people might need to do. So there we have that. Uh, cheers and thanks for watching.